Okay guys, so we're going to start this tutorial off using a primer and I'm going to be using a beige primer to help the lighter colors pop out a little bit. I'm also going to apply a little bit to my bottom lash line. You're going to want to go ahead and blend that up into your crease area but not too much into your brow bone area. And don't forget to blend out your bottom as well. Next, I'm going to go on with this reddish rusty type color and I'm going to sweep that back and forth into my crease area. I'm going to be blending it up near my eyebrow area but not too far up. You're going to really go in and blend the crap out of this. I mean blend it until you just can't blend anymore. When in doubt, blend some more. Next, I'm going to take this deep brown and I'm going to use that to define my outer V area. This also is going to be something that you want to blend, blend, blend. You want most of the intensity in the outer V sweeping inward. Very, very well blended. Don't forget to go ahead and blend a little bit down in your lower lash line. We're going to take that same red brick color from our transition area and we're going to put that on our lower lash line as well. This is going to help to really give that very well blended smoky eye effect. Next I'm going in with this black and I'm going to also add that to my outer V. This is just going to help make this area very very dimensional and it's really going to help bring interest to my eye look without too many colors. You're going to also want to make sure this is very very well blended. You want to blend from a beautiful reddish bronzy deep smoke. Next I'm going to go on with this peachy color and I'm going to apply that to my lid area, the area where I don't have any color. And I'm just going to blend that all out. Even going to add a tiny bit to under my brow area. Just enough to highlight it a bit. Now I'm going to go in with this black eyeliner and I'm going to line my bottom waterline a third of the way in. Now I'm going to go in with some black eyeshadow and set that and also kind of smudge it a bit. This is going to help it to appear to be softer and it's also going to help it last longer. Now I'm going to go in with some gel eyeliner. I'm going to be using black gel eyeliner and I'm going to create a very slight cat eye staying as close to my lash line as possible. Now to add a little bit of a pop of shimmer, I'm going to take some of this shimmery pencil and apply that to my tear duct and blend that out just to really pop the eyes a bit. Now I'm going to go in with some eyelashes and I chose these KISS number 11 lashes because they're long and wispy and they're tapered and they're just really really sexy. 
and I'm going to apply those by pressing them as closely as I can to my lash line. Now for some bronzer because this look doesn't call for too much blush. You guys know I love Mandalay Dusk from Shea Moisture and I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Now I'm going to go in and do my lips. Now I use two eyeliners from Prestige. One in chocolate, this is the first one that you see here. And then I went in and did my corners in Spice. Actually this color is Spice and I did my corners in chocolate. And the lipsticks shown was Revlon Flesh Tone. Now I'm going in with chocolate and just defining my lips. And now here you see Revlon Flesh Tone. Now I'm going to go in with Revlon Skin Lights in Peach Light and I'm going to add just a tiny bit more glow even though my face is a little broken out right now and this is more of a matte look. I just love a highlight. It really helps those cheekbones pop out. I'm just going to sweep that all over my face. Alright guys, so that's it for the look. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same.